Fundamental problem F3-5 says, if the mass of the cylinder C is 40 kilograms, determine the mass of cylinder A in order to hold the assembly in the position shown. All right, so as we can see in the diagram, we have two cylinders, cylinder A and C, and these are held in place by two pins at points D and B. And of course, from the statement, we are given the mass of cylinder C, which is simply 40 kilograms. And we're trying to find the mass of cylinder A, which I'll go ahead and note as MA. And this specific mass has to be able to hold the assembly in the position as shown in the sketch, where the wire EB specifically is at a 30 degree angle from the horizontal line. And then here, of course, is the 40 kilogram mass. And then over on the left, I'll go ahead and write down the mass of cylinder A. And now I'll just go ahead and redraw the sketch to show all the forces. But first, let's specifically focus on point B, since that is where the known mass is acting at. And so point B, of course, carries the weight of the cylinder C, which we can write as WC. And we know that weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity, so WC will be equal to MC times G, which is equal to the 40 kilograms, times G, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, which is equal to 392.4 newtons. And now, of course, we also need to account for the force that is basically transmitted through the wire BE which is created by the weight of the cylinder. And this, of course, acts at an angle from the vertical axis. And of course, we can look at the right triangle that is formed in the original diagram, which makes up a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the angle of the force from the vertical axis is 60 degrees, because of course, 30 plus 60 plus 90 is 180 degrees. So now that we have point B with all the forces, we can now focus on point E. So now point E shares that same force BE with point B. But here, of course, it acts at an angle of 30 degrees off the horizontal axis. And then point E also carries the weight of cylinder A, which is equal to MA times G. And so there we have all the forces at point E that we need to find the mass of cylinder A. And now as you can see, since weight of course acts in the vertical direction, we want to find the component of this force BE, which acts in the vertical direction, which in this case is of course the Y component. And now how can we find this? Well, of course, first of all, we need to know what the force BE is. And well, since the only force that's basically acting at point B is the weight of cylinder C, then this tells us that the force that's being transmitted through wire BE has to be equal to that weight, which is 392.4 newtons. And so now that we know the magnitude of force BE, in order to find the Y component of this force, we can go ahead and simply use trigonometry, since we know that sine of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite side of the angle, which is FBE Y over the hypotenuse, which is FBE. So hence we have sine 30 is equal to FBE Y over 392.4 newtons. Because again, as you can see in this sketch here, FBE is the hypotenuse and FBE Y is the opposite side. So in that case, solving for FBEY, we have FBEY is equal to 392.4 times sine of 30, which again is our Y component of the force BE. And so now that we know this Y component of the force, we can now simply use equilibrium in the Y direction in order to solve for MA. So we set the summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero, assuming up as positive. And just before that, I'll go ahead and quickly write down 392.4 sine of 30 here. All right, so for our sum of forces in the y direction, we have 
392.4 sine of 30. And this is positive because the magnitude of force FBE points towards the positive direction, which is up and to the right, which of course results in a positive Y component. And then of course we have the weight, which in this case will be minus MA times G, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. And of course this is negative since weight points downwards. And so isolating MA here, we will get MA is equal to 196.2 newtons over 9.81 meters per second squared. So hence from this, the mass of cylinder A, MA, is equal to 20 kilograms.